Hey guys, good morning. It is around 6.15 in the morning, last day in July. I'm back up here on the Delaware. Um, when it's hot, it's hot up here. <laughs> and um, actually, this was, uh, yesterday wasn't too bad, Monday, the 30th, uh, weather-wise. Uh, the river is up a little bit, and today is supposed to be overcast. Ooh, there's a beaver down there swimming around the on in the water i don't know if i can if you guys can see him it's about 40 50 yards away from me <laughs> um but uh today it's supposed to be just overcast i always have good days up here though when it's overcast and uh and a little bit rainy so i don't think they're looking for any rain today but rain and scattered thunderstorms are coming in on um wednesday thursday and friday so this is the best fishable day um so i Hightailed it up here and trying to get another good day in up here on the Delaware. <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about today is nymphin big water. Okay, a few guys have asked me about that, and uh, I, I've made comments before, telling you just to break it down, fish it like a small stream. I'm and maybe I'm oversimplifying it, but really that's what it is, though. Um, you can only focus on the water that's right in front of you and what you can reach and what you can effectively reach. So I'm going to show you again, like I always do in my videos and talk you through it and just go maybe a little bit more in detail and um, a little bit slower and hopefully we'll get some hookups um, on the camera and show you my drifts and my setup and uh, just show you what I do and um hopefully it helps some of you guys out there you know feel a little bit less intimidated about big water okay um and it used to intimidate me too but slowly i've grown in confidence and experience over it and i think i've gotten a handle on it now so at least show you what i've learned okay um i'm gonna put you on my hat show you what i'm using okay Okay guys, I'm using my four weight out here, my 10 foot four weight, and this is just my good old Cabela's rod, MTX, Cabela's MTX 10 foot four, okay? Older rod, that's six, six years old, I think, seven, six, seven years old. And um, regular four weight, weight forward floating line. I'm using my cutthroat furled leader, and uh, <laughs> That beaver, you can't, you can't see it on the camera, but he's swimming across now with the big stick in his mouth. <laughs> swimming over to that side, the left side. <laughs> okay, I am using, get up here, a big Isonychia nymph. Okay, big Isonychia nymph. Then I got a Frenchie with a chartreuse hotspot and a bead head. And then a bead head pheasant tail live legs using these yellow legs. Okay, and um, dark brown has been working up here on the Delaware for me, so that's what we're going to go with today. Like I said, the river is up, and um, uh, up maybe about a good f another foot than when it was the last time I was here. And um, I'm down in Hancock, um, the water's running around 60 62, the temperature. And um, so I don't, I got company out here, so gentlemen's spin fishing. And um, so I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get out. Because uh, like I said, it's higher, it's faster. Plus there's like I said, a guy on the other side. So just fish for the water that we can reach. And he's got one on there. He's got, oh, he's got a fly rod. I could have swore he was using, oh, maybe I'm wrong. I could have swore he was using um, bait, uh, a spinning rod. Got a nice one on there. Okay. So, we're just going to start out close here. Okay. And, um, like I said, just fishing right in front of me. I got one BB size split shot on. Okay. And,.
Now I'm not using an indicator. I'm not using an indicator, so um, my rig, my fly line, and my rod are in front of my rig, so I'm ahead of it. And I'm just letting it go down the same speed as the bubbles. Okay? And he's got one on over there. I guess that big thing I saw on his line was, he's, I guess, a fairly good size indicator. And, um... So... And it's my first cast of the day. I don't see any bugs in the air. Now the last time I was up here at Hancock, I was getting um, some hits on the swing. So I'm really letting it go through the swing real good, pay attention. And uh, when it goes through the swing, I do not pinch my line. Um, I do not pinch my line in my fingers because usually on the swing they hit it, they pretty much slam it. So you have to have it kind of loose so that he uh, can take it as soon as he hits it. Okay. And actually, since it is up, I might have to put another split shot on because it's moving pretty good here. Okay. And I'm just fishing right out in front of me, 15 to 20 feet. So I'm not really doing anything different than what I would be doing on a small stream. Um, now right now this is pretty much, it pretty much looks the same. I fished it before and I know there's where some rocks are. Um, I can see certain breaks and seams out there too, but um, even if you can't see much structure or seams in the water, you still have to fish it like it's a small stream. I'm not in a big hurry. I'm taking my good old time. Just moving maybe six inches every like five or ten casts. I'm just basically just throwing up, following my rig down, watching the belly of my leader. Any hesitation? And he's set, and eh, he is. He's using bait. He's using bait, but he's got a fly rod. <laughs> I knew, I knew something was different. I could have swore <laughs> when I watched him cast. He was casting all the way across stream, and he's just flipping it. But he's using bait. I don't know what he's using. I knew he wasn't using a fly. So. Okay. So nothing happening right now. He's fishing like right here in front of us. So I'm going to go upstream a little in a little bit more shallow water, okay? Okay, guys. Picked up this little six inch rainbow. Beautiful par marks. Um, on the Frenchie. See the Frenchie sticking out of his mouth? Okay. So, at least got something started here. I came up above this gentleman, and I said shallower water, but it's over my knees, and it turns fairly fast. So, up here I'm going to leave the same weight 
that I have on, but when I get lower, I definitely have to add a split shot. It's really moving pretty fast and it's deeper. So I'm in here in this little, um, well, it's a big section that's calmer, and that's where he hit. So maybe there's some fish holding in this calmer section. So. Don't feel like you have, just because it's big water, don't feel like you have to cover all of this water real quick or just throwing out willy-nilly trying to cover as much water as you can. Take your good old time. There's fish right in front of you or assume that there's fish in front of you and you don't want to spook them. Um, any spot that's out there can wait, okay? You gotta fish your way out to your spots. In the Delaware, especially wild trout waters, fish can be anywhere. And, you know, they're not like stock fish where uh, they usually, you know, wherever they put the bucket, they stay in the same general area. They do move around somewhat, but not as much as wild fish. Wild fish move around all the time. At least in big water they do. That was a rock. And now we're going out a little further. Oh, hey, nope. Another rock. And like I said, we're just taking our good old time. Wherever you get a break here, there's usually an inside seam, then you have calm water, then you have an outside seam. So you fish all those sections. Actually, in this one, we have a inside seam, a middle seam, and an outside seam. So... You don't try to just throw near those areas. You throw in those seams and then in the calm areas. So when I'm looking at this water, I see an inside fast seam, then a little bit calmer, then a middle fast seam, then a section where it's calmer, then an outside fast seam. So there's like five different, um, different drifts that you can get in this, um, probably only about six, seven yards, uh, 20 feet in front of me. But there's five different seams here, five different drifts that I can concentrate on. Okay guys, nothing was happening down Hancock. So I came up here closer to the deposit again and I just had a real nice one on, about 14 inch rainbow. Only had them on for about five seconds though took a jump and spit the hook so let's see what we can get going up here still fishing out close to me only about 15 20 feet okay like I said, I throw a little bit higher upstream than most other nymph fishermen. If I had more, um, I got some uh, vegetation on there. But uh, if I had more line out, I'd be bringing in my line um, as it's coming down and be picking up the slack line. But I really don't have that much line out. So I can control it with raising and lowering my rod. I'm just watching the belly of my, uh, just watching the belly of my line. Hey guys, got one here. Looks like it's on the Asenikian nymph. 
not real big. Looks like about 11 inch rainbow. Get this boy up here. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> well, it's about 11 inches, but it's a brownie, not a rainbow. Okay guys, a nice rainbow on here. Two good jumps he took. Oh, there's another one. So nymphing up here in deposit is working. And he is on the Isonychia nymph too. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Good fight, good fight. Man, I'm twisting, twisting, twisting. Come on, buddy. Get him up here. Get him up here, get him up here. Jeez, another brownie, big brownie. Oh, look at that brownie. Oh, wee. Oh, wow, good 16 inches. Wow, oh, good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Hey guys, boys. First fish I got on the swing in a while. And he I can't see yet what he's on. Yeah, he's on the Isonychia. Man, that Isonychia works up here, up in deposit. Man, oh man. Okay. I'm very sorry I can't get these hits on film for you, but they're not um, consistently coming, coming. so I got to just turn the camera on when I get the hit. <clears throat> and, uh, this boy didn't slam, but he hit it kind of softly. Kind of came up and tasted it and got hooked. Oh man, he's, he's angry now. He's angry now. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Okay. Get him up here. <clears throat> Nice, nice rainbow. Good, good 12, 13 inches. Oh, this is on the frontie. That new frontie I put on, look at that. Huh, that's why I got him on. Oh, Good 12, 13 inches. Fat, super strong. And he took it on the swing. I'm gonna show you a couple casts. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a hookup on film. So, uh, that's my fourth one up here in deposit. The one got off. 
And I only caught one little one down at Hancock, so getting into fish. There he goes, there he goes, on film, yeehaw. Nice one, a good 12 incher. Look at that, I don't know which one he's on yet. Boy, he's jumping, jumping, jumping. Okay, now this one's definitely on the ice in the Kia. Look at that, okay. There you go. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, buddy. Use them 4x. Always use 4x underneath. Fish are not line shy underneath. Get them up here. About the sixth one of the day. Way to go. Nice ring rule. Good call, Winter. Okay. This is on. There it is. And that was on the ice in the Okay. Okay. I'll show you again what I'm using. Got a big BB split shot there. Now, seven inches above my golden stone. I'm not catching anything on the golden stone, but I'm using it just as an attractor to catch the fish's attention. Okay, that yellow is what I'm hoping catches their attention. Then I got my um, Isonikian nymph, slide that back, and then my Frenchie, okay? And I tie it off, I tie all my flies in line off the um, bend of the hook. Seem to get less tangles that way. Uh, I know there's all different types of tandem rigs, but that's what works best for me. So, same. All I'm doing flipping upstream, said anywhere from 15 to 20 feet of line out. Keeping my rod and my line in front of my rig, leading it downstream, and then letting it slowly go through the swing. And I am pinching my line here, you see, between my first two fingers. And I just adjust the tension right here. Toss it up, bringing in a little bit of slack with my left hand, a little bit of slack line, always keeping a nice straight line right to my flies. And I'm bringing them down, the, bringing my rig down, trying to bring my rig down the same speed as the current. Letting it go through the swing. And I let it just hang there for a few seconds. Bring them up to the surface. Boom. Flip it upstream. Okay. And that's the same thing I do whether it's a skinny little stream like Elk Creek or bigger water like the Little J or the Topahawken. Um, pretty much fish. The only thing I usually adjust maybe is um, how much weight I'm using. Oh, nice swing. And what I did was let me explain. Let that let this drift go down through. I entered the water near that big rock and I came across that big rock is about maybe eight yards up from me and I came straight across over to that grass over there. I went up a little bit and fished. I came back and went down about eight yards below that grass where I'm at now and now I'm cutting it across. So I'm doing section by section by section. And that's how you break a stream, a big stream down into a little stream section by section and I do that because um, when I see it's about seven eight yards 
I'm, I'm going downstream because it's about what I'm fishing here and my line's covering so wherever my um, uh, my sweep is my range of what I'm fishing with my line where it ends down here that's where I'll start my next section so Oh, we got off. Ah. Worried there. I didn't get anything in this section that I fished all the way across and had that as a nice rainbow. Oh, so I'll keep it on for you. May I pick up another one? He was nice. He looked like he's around 12, 13. Come on, fish. I need to make you a movie star. Almost getting to the end. Check my flies after this drift. Make sure I'm not. Okay, we're good. Mm, must be getting more shallow over there. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Okay. Thankfully, this section I'm trying to get hits on now. Oh, this is my first fish. There he goes. That was a brookie. That was a nice sized brookie. Um, I had that on the golden stone. <laughs> so there you go. Man, that was a good 11 inches. Really, really, really super dark. <clears throat> the brook trout. one here had one on earlier got off now I picked up this boy here and this is on the Frenchie this guy's on the Frenchie up here okay rainbow 11 12 inches there you go okay this section holding some fish. Let's see. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he got off. That was a nice one. He was good 14 inches. I got him on a swing. <sighs> well. Two, three, three got off. I think I landed. No, more than three got off. Three, four, five. Five got off. And I landed five. So <laughs> I'm at 50%. Okay, well, maybe there's some fish stacked up here.
stones. I keep getting hits down here, but I maybe it's a rock. I don't know. Always happening on the swing. There he goes. Oh, nice one. Nice one, nice one, nice one. At least it feels like a nice one. There he goes. Singing my song. <laughs> Come on. I haven't shown himself yet. fish that's a seriously nice fish oh I tell you oh man well he's got a big old tail on him Big old tail. I don't know which one he's hooked on yet, though. I think. Oh man, he is angry. <laughs> he is. He wants to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Bring him up. We hit 20 inches on this one, guys. I don't want to get too excited, but I'm pretty sure this guy's 20 inches. Oh. some fleet big old rainbow big old rainbow oh my gosh oh my gosh Stay hooked. Just stay hooked. Oh my gosh. Man, hey, it's... Get this boy in. 
He is big. He is seriously big. And this is 4x too. Man, that's his tail you guys are seeing. That's not his head, man. He's keeping his head and nose down. Big, 20 plus inches. Oh. Ah, maybe it's 20. Get him up here. Oh, gosh. Look at that, guys. Easy 20 inches. Oh, I broke my other thing off. Wow, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I was trying to ice the I him out here. Oh my god. Look at that big old boy. Woohoo! Thank you. Hey guys, got another nice one on. This one's probably about 15. I changed my rig up, but I, <laughs> the only thing I didn't change was the Isonicki in there, but that's what I I think I got this on, I'm not too sure though. Oh my gosh, come on buddy. Come on up. Oh, he got off. Uh, uh, oh well. <sighs> okay guys, got one on here. Not bad, not bad. It was on the ice and Nikki again. Okay. On the ice and Nikki. Yeah. Good 14 inches. Okay guys, I'm at the Hale Eddy Bridge. I just had one on about 15 inches and it got off. 
maybe about six, seven, eight casts later, I got this one. So, hasn't shown himself yet. The other one was a big rainbow. This one up here. This is a brook trout again. Oh, look at the size of this brook trout. Oh my god, I had one on earlier today and it got off. People probably thought I was nuts. Look at the size of this brook trout. It's about 12, 13 inches. Oh, get out of there. I'm in the net for a trip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. This is on an ice, this was on an ice for Nikki. Yeah, who is it? This is full of life. I'm gonna keep them in the water. Hmm. Okay, look at that. Ooh, he's almost good 13 inches. Look at that. Oh my god. Ooh. That's one of my biggest brookies. Uh, a native brookie, not a stock brookie. Man. That thing was beautiful. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try to get something on film here for you. In this one spot here right in front of me, I hooked into two fish. Like I said, a big rainbow got off around 15. I landed that brookie that was right easy, good 12, maybe even 13 inches. I should have measured him. But man, he was beautiful. So, maybe. I'm hitting something here. We'll see. It is fast water, man. And there are both of them. I'm pretty sure the rainbow was on the ice of Nikia. And the brookie was definitely on it. There's sulfurs coming off. There's a couple ice of Nikia flying around I saw a couple fish rising but I'm gonna stay underneath oh there he goes there he goes oh man he whacked it oh man he whacked it whacked it oh I don't know we man he hit it way high up and this is on the Frenchie this is on the Frenchie oh nice nice fish nice fish Okay, I'm still only fishing out in front of me about 20 feet. Man, he's, oh, there's so much current here. Oh man, this fish isn't that big, but man. Oh, I think he got off. Dang, unless he's swimming into me, but I think he got off. <gasps> man, I had such nice fish get off today. Nice, nice fish. I honestly had, I mean, I had about eight fish get off, but at least five out of those eight were just really nice, solid fish. Huh. Well, can't do anything about that. So they're up here, higher in this griff. Right, I fished, well, this is only my second section. I fished one section out, down about 10 yards out, and so I came up about 10 yards, and now I'm fishing across, and uh, like I said, I'm upstream a little bit higher in this rift, and I think it, 
and he hits 10 yards down. Didn't seem like that much different water. Oh, there he goes again. Man, another one. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Man. Oh, man. Look at these fish just rip and drag. Rip and drag. Man. Come on, let me get this one in. <laughs> Only landed one out of three that I had on. Oh, right here at the Hale Eddy Bridge. And I've only been here maybe 15, 20 minutes. Come on, fish. Gotta keep it a little tighter. Well, he didn't show himself yet, but man, he hit it hard. Last two fish, man, they ripped it. Make sure I got you guys on. Okay. <laughs> Gotta make sure you're on it. Man, he is just. Man, he hits that current. Like I said, at Hail Letty here, there's fast current here. Well, he didn't show himself yet. Come on. Oh, man, look at him just screaming drag. Singing my song. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Get up here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I bring him in, he takes it out. I bring him in, he takes it out. Come on, fish. Get up here. Come on. You're a nice one. Oh! <gasps> killing me. <laughs> oh my God, that's killing me. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Okay, let me restart you guys. Okay. Come down here a little bit. Right around here. Come down a few feet. Just looks a little bit nicer. Oh, down a little. My back's killing me from bending over. Oops. Come on, fish. Whack it. Gotta whack it. There he goes, there he goes. There he goes. He's on there. He's gonna scream. He's gonna start singing. <laughs> gonna hit that current and take off. Ah, uh, uh, I think this little guy foul hooked. I think he is. Not too sure. There he goes. Yeah, I think he is. That he's down hooked. Little one on the bottom. Yep, he's down hooked. Little guy. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey guys, got another one on. Nice one. Fighting again. Okay. I'm keeping him close. He's not screaming any drag yet. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Man, when he gets out there, he always gets off. Oh, there he 
goes. Come on, fishy. Uh, God, he gets out there. Oh, he looks like he's on the tail. I don't think he was, though. I'm pretty sure he wasn't on the tail. No, he just, I think he's just flopping around and got tangled up. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. Get all those fish today. Hooking them good. Now these last two, that's unusual. But I don't think he was. I think he was just flipping them, turning and splashing and got tangled up. Curious to see if he's got one of the flies in his mouth. Ah, come on, buddy. Gotta get him up here now. Get up here. Get him up here. He's not bad size. Uh, but I think he's tired now. Get him up here. Bring him up, bring him up. Let's see where he's at up here. Okay, this is on the last fly. The fez, I mean the Frenchie. And, and I don't know. Okay. Ah, good. Good 12, 13 inch rainbow. Okay, there it is. Uh, okay. Let's get the people into some action here. Okay. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. This is the little one. Okay, there. There he goes, little guy, about 10, 11 inches. He's on the Frenchie. I'm not even going to net him. Okay. Okay. Oh, there it goes. He was only about 10 inches. But still up in this fast water. Okay. This one bit right at my foot. It looks like about a 11, 12 incher. And this is on the Frenchie again. Man. Look at that, this morning it was the Isonicia, this afternoon, Frenchie. That is amazing. Okay. You know what, let's bring him out of that fast water so I can get him in here. That's it. There he goes. Get him in there. There you go. Nice. Oh, good 12 inches. Right. What the fuck? There it is. Beautiful. Nice, wide, big muscles. Okay. Hey, guys. This is shallow. This is only about a foot deep. But I never fished this section. Oh, look at that. First cast in. Oh my gosh. That's unreal. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Oh, he got off. That sucker, he was about 15 inches. Oh. <laughs> I 
I don't like the song they're singing now. <laughs> they're getting off. Okay. Let's walk up here and see what this is like up here. It doesn't look deep. Well, it is on that far side. Hmm. Yeah, it is over there. Let's see what we can do. Well, I gotta reach my hit rod over this fast current. But let's try this. Boom. Oh, I thought that was a hit. Ooh. Mm -hmm. we'll work our way up this. It's pretty neat to catch them in here. It's like a little, like a little crick. <laughs> There he goes. Look at that. Got him. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice fish. Let me make sure I got you guys on. Yep. Oh, this is a nice fish. This is a nice fish. Right in front of me, he's staying deep. Ooh, nice fish. Big brownie. Look at that. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Check this out. Can't see what he's on yet. Oh, he's on the Isonychia. He's on the Isonychia. Big brownie, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Get him over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Look at that. Short fight. I like that. fly on his tail so gotta get that out good 16 inches Get my rig straightened out here. Okay, guys. Make sure, I have you on. Yep. Okay, right up against that. I man, a big one rose over there. I got this one on, but I don't think he's big. Um, I don't know. He hasn't showed himself, but I don't think he's big. Boy, there was a big one that rose over there. I watched him for five minutes. 
and he didn't rise again. It could have been. Oh, he got off. Dang. Oh, that is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I changed it up. Well, and I didn't change up too much. I still have my ice in the Kia and um, my Frenchie on. There's the Frenchie. But then I added, uh, well, I call it a sulfur nymph. Um, but basically, it's just a very light colored hair's ear nymph. Um, I don't know what that one was on, but he got off anyhow. But, mm, that might have been the one I had on. I don't, I mean, the one that I saw because, but it was about, it was about two or three feet short of where he rose, unless he saw it and came over. But, uh. Okay, guys, picking up another one here. This one feels pretty good. Oh man, look at this nice, whoa man, nice big brownie. Nice big, nice fish. Look at this guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, ah. Rich! Rich! I, uh, I had my Isonicki in nymph. Like about a size 12. Dark brown. He's about... 16, 17 inch, big brownie. Hey guys, I picked that big brownie up. I want to get down there. I'm just kind of walking real slow. Still only got about 15, 20 feet of line out. And uh, it's a little bit deeper. I'm closer to shore. So it's maybe a couple inches deeper out where I'm throwing. So it might be about 18 inches. Uh, that's where I picked him up at. I met a guy and his wife down there, Rich and Chris, and I see him nymphing over there and I wanted to show him the fish. Uh, let's try to pick up another one here. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Let's see what this guy is here. Looks like another brownie. That's on the ice in the again. Okay. Where 
хорошо. Oh, Robin. About 11 inches. Yeah, this is a pretty nice sized fish. on the ice and icky. Nice big brownie. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that guy. Oh, another. Got 16. 16, 17 again. Wow, woo. Okay guys, ah, that's the end of the day for me. Got a three hour ride home. Um, I guess it's around six o'clock right now. So we fished basically 12 hours from six to six. <laughs> Didn't do bad. I think I landed somewhere around 13 fish maybe. And um, had on at least that amount or more that got off. A lot of big fish got off today and um, caught a lot of big fish today. It wasn't bad. Um, basically, what I started out with uh, is what I was fishing to the end of the day. The Isonikian nymph and the, um, and the Frenchie. The Frenchie, like I said, had a gold bead on it and it had a chartreuse hot collar. Um, yeah, I tried to explain in what I was doing today a little bit more in detail breaking the river in sections maybe like anywhere from seven to ten yard sections and then I was only had out 15 to 20 feet of line most of the day fishing close to me and uh, that's how I do it um, so you have to I try to imagine that it's a small stream in front of me even though it's a big river but the section that's uh, in front of me that's what I'm just focusing on and I don't worry about any other you know every other spot in the river can wait till I get to it but I, you know what I'm working with is 15 20 feet in front of me slowly very slowly advancing forward across the river then I turn around go down about another 7 to 10 yards whatever you know uh, I think is adequate for for what I'm fishing and then um, work another uh, another section all the way across um, I started in the West Branch Angler section of the of the um, river again mm, did 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 well no I actually I started in Hancock and just picked up that one ink inker dinker and then then I came up here I got up here I guess around 8 o'clock and uh, fished it from about 8 to 12 and um, did pretty good I think I landed around 5 out of about and then I had about six or seven get off here. Then I went up to the Hale Eddy Bridge, landed another five, had about another six or seven get off. And then came back here for the evening and I landed, I think like three or four more and had about two or three other ones get off. So not a bad day. Uh, using all four X and uh, well you guys, I, I got a lot of I, got, I, I think I got at least half of what I caught on, on um, film for you. And um, uh, the other ones I, I just uh, turned the camera on when I had the hookup. So 
Uh, we had a lot of fun even just fighting some fish and, you know, them getting off, screaming. Like I said, my reel was singing. <laughs> singing the song of the trout. Big trout. Just getting in the current and screaming that drag off. But that was fun, even though they got off. So, I hope you guys liked it. If you have any questions about my Nymphin rig or how I'm going about it, you know, just ask me. And I answer just about every comment below. And, um... Show it to your buddies. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and thank you very much. Okay, see you guys later.